So I just soldered my first practice joint here, and it seems like it's pretty solid. Be a bit better view that way. Yes, that's about the best. So what I did here was I drew out the design on a piece of graph paper and then uh, once I had that uh, design drawn I put it on the box and just punched some holes so I could make marks for uh, all the where all the components are going to be and where all the uh, uh, holes will would be drilled. So there's the uh, marks on the box uh, from that. So here is the first uh, button that's been soldered with the cables and it's just got a little shrink, uh, heat shrink on the ends to cover up the soldering joints. So on to the other ones. Some uh, solder joints I just completed and I just took the um, cable and made a little loop and kind of put it through that that little hole that you can see in this button and then uh, soldered around that joint so I think it should be pretty solid so I've managed to get all the buttons uh, soldered to uh, their connections so now I guess it's on to the uh, LEDs and the potentiometers so I just finished drilling out all the holes for the buttons, potentiometers, and LEDs, and uh, it's not perfect, but everything fits, so I guess uh, <laughs> that'll have to work. There is everything all wired together. Just took me a few minutes, and uh, hopefully there's no um, open connections or unsoldered wires here that would probably be a bad sign um, but anyway that's on to testing uh, the uh, the chip all right so as you can see we have uh, power and uh, I've connected it with a USB cable to a Windows computer and the LEDs at least work um, one interesting thing though is uh, the potentiometers are <laughs> going backwards um, that's what it seems like to me so um, that could be a uh, you know from the way I wired it I don't know but uh, hey at least uh, they light up right so now it's on to configuring the uh, controls with the UHID uh, configuration utility. So this is just a picture of the box with all the components installed from the front. Uh, there's no back on it yet as you'll see in the next picture where you can see all the uh, wiring and uh, how it's all connected with the uh, circuit board at the top. So finally, here is the finished controller and the pots actually work in the correct direction now. Whoa, that's bright. Yeah, let's turn it down a little bit. Oh, a little bit. And let's see, do this so you can see it. Yay! So those work. And I'll show you the multi control information here. As you can see, it's registering both input data and MIDI data. That's an arcade button. And then also for the potentiometers, seeing it's uh, recording 
that information as both id data. You can see the values changing there in the for the MIDI data from 0 to 127. There you have it. Complete controller. Except for the back <laughs> him mounting the chip. So that's next. So here's the finished controller. Got everything all put together finally. The uh, back is on the box. I just decided to, instead of making a hole in the side of the box, I just decided to let the uh, cord uh, kind of uh, protrude through a little um, slot I made with a file instead of uh, trying to mount the circuit board and then have to worry about unplugging and plugging it back into the circuit board because although the circuit board seems pretty solid um, you know the plugging and unplugging um, doing a lot of that I could see where that might uh, you know uh, be a problem uh, for you know the connections keeping every all the wires you know um, solid on the uh, circuit board but everything works and the buttons look great, the knobs, like I said, I ended up putting in um, linear potentiometers, um, but uh, the only ones I could find on short notice were these huge ones, so as you can see, uh, they do, the knobs don't actually go down to the, the box yet, so hopefully I can uh, find a solution for that, but uh, you know, this this works fine right now, and uh, I'm very happy with the way it turns out. Turned out um, all the LEDs, you know, once you turn the potentiometers up all the way, they all work. Um, you saw how it works with the multi-touch software to send to uh, convert the hid signals into MIDI, and uh, that's about it. So. Good luck on making your own controllers and hope this was a helpful video. Alright, take care.